Today, this is how the sun looks like, and that is how it normally looks like. That is because of wildfires, so it begs the question, how do we fight wildfires, and how can we prevent them? In the summer, it feels like if the entire west is on fire. There have been hundreds of wildfires in British Columbia, making the sun turn orange and reducing visibility. There have also been countless wildfires in California. It has been left to firefighters put out the blazes. The first thing they do is send an air raid of water bombers and helicopters to contain the fire. This is so that the fire does not spread even more. Some firefighters come by air if the fire is in a remote location. They are called smoke jumpers or hell attack crews. The first people to come by ground are the hotshots. They are assigned to work close to the fire and they are normally a group of 20 to dig a trench and chop down trees. What they do is to try to build a fire line to stop the growth of a fire. A fire line is a line which is free from any combustible material so the fire does not jump too much. The fire lines may differ within depending on what type of fire it is. 10 feet for a grass fire or 60 feet for a forest fire. But sometimes winds are very strong and that it sparks more fires. It is up to this team's boss to plan the fire line and the responsibilities are spread among the crew. The spotter will spot the fire and its movement, and the sawyer works with a chainsaw to remove any combustible materials like trees and bushes from the fire's edge. And the swamper normally works with the pickaxe, who will remove the materials away from the fire line. Sometimes the crew sets a backfire to burn away any combustible materials in the fire's way. To control the fire even more, when there is a shortage in firefighters, they call in reinforcements to put on spot fires and hold the fire line. These crews are mostly college students on summer break or military personnel or prisoners. Large fires can take weeks to put out and require thousands of firefighters. Today we think of fires as a bad thing and they should be put out as soon as possible, but actually nature thinks it is a way to renew the landscape and reduce the density of forests. It turns out that wood ash is a very good fertilizer and it helps young trees grow. Fires can also get rid of the canopy of a forest. This makes rain and sunlight reach the surface and help new trees and shrubs grow. Before we were around to fight fires, small fires normally came around and made plants adapt and take advantage of it. Trees like the jack pine drop their seeds during a wildfire, so when it stops, the trees will grow back. The fires also stop the competition of resources and water by not only adding wood ash fertilizer, but reducing the amount of plants reaching for these resources. These small fires made it simpler for the forest to recover and also kept future fires from burning down entire regions. Sometimes Parks Canada does control burns before the fire season, so if there was a fire, it would be controllable. Parks Canada normally does this to protect national heritage sites. Also a fact, 9 out of 10 fires were started by human activity, not nature. That's a lot of fires. It could be sparked from electric lines to unmanaged campfires. Another problem is that we're getting in the way of wildfires. As in California, by 2050, 645,000 houses will be built in the fire's way, making it harder for fire crews to let fires burn. And if we want to build there, there should be city planning to make a fire break like a golf course or a massive park on the edge of the city. Not only this is a good for citizens, this separates fires from housing and infrastructure and lets fires fizzle out. Lots of reasons why fires can grow so large is also because of climate change. When the climate warms, the air can hold more moisture and take it from the ground. The land gets drier, and then with a small spark, there's a large wildfire. For every degree Celsius in temperature rise, we need 14% more rain to offset that evaporation. That rain has not been coming. So to prevent wildfires, we need to bury power lines, build fire breaks in the community, and also do more controlled burns. And another thing that's closing forests from people. Forest bans are not popular, but they can help us save a lot of troubles in the future. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it, and please subscribe if you had not. Bye.